How can I build my stamina? I guess out during sparring. Yeah, listen, I, I, we're talking about two things here. I think in, in my mind, this breaks down in two things. There is a component of physical attributes um, that we all have to um, that we all have to acknowledge. Right? I mean, jiu-jitsu is a physical sport, and we will be sparring multiple rounds, you know, depending on the length of the round, but typically they are between five to ten minutes um, each. You know? So going multiple rounds with somebody who is, um, well, trying to attack us and trying to put us in a compromising position and submit us, you know, and we are protecting while we are attacking at the same time, you know, it, there is this dynamic of physical component into within jiu-jitsu, which we have to acknowledge and we do get tired and, and um, you know, how, how can we get better, you know? So that, that's the one. But two is really understanding why you're guessing out, okay? So it, it, it is a very fine line between those two pillars. Um, and what I mean by this is if you're going 100% every single round, I am not surprised that you are guessing out. But within each round, there are moments where you can pause and recharge. There are moments where you can control the situation without compromising your position. You know, and there are moments during the sparring sessions where you can catch your breath. Matter of fact, I'm big, um, you know, my philosophy, my my, my always encouragement to my students at least is you should be able to go three to five rounds every day without taking a break. That's, that's, that's like a default. Um, you, you know, there's no reason for you to take break every round. You shouldn't because one, you're not building your endurance. So that's one. But two, you g mentally getting used to the fact the round is only five or seven minutes, whatever it is. And then after that, I'm going to take a break. No, you shouldn't. You should actually, well, you should push your limits and you should find yourself in a spot when you say, I'm going this round. I'm going to go next 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 round. Now you're forcing yourself to recharge during the sparring sessions. So not only you're building your insurance, but you're getting rid of the mindset of, I'm gonna relax in the moment. No, you're gonna, you have to find ways to relax within the sparring session. There are plenty of academies that I personally know that do not allow taking breaks f within the sparring session. And this is not to um, discourage students or push them or be vicious or be difficult. This is purely, with the philosophy of you need to find pockets of time where you can relax while you're training. You don't have the ability to sit down and, you know, have a five-minute break. No. You need to find these pockets of time. 30 seconds of you being in charge and in control could allow you to recharge. And then you're going back to it. I mean, think about the positions. Top control, side control. These positions, if you're on top, you can relax. You don't, you don't have to be grinding and pushing and being hard. I'll challenge that even from the upper perspective. When you're on the bottom, if you're not pushing and you're being very strategic about your approach or bottom of side control, bottom of top control, you can actually relax for 10, 15 seconds, catch your breath, and then continue escaping. You don't have to go 100%, and that is the key. It's a skill. It's a separate skill that you need to develop as you continue training Jiu-Jitsu journey, uh, going through this Jiu-Jitsu journey. Because longer you train, longer you will, um, longer you will spar, more sessions you will spar, and to be honest with you, your training partners are going to get tougher. So training your body one from a physical perspective, to have this endurance to go on for several rounds without a break, that's one. But two, also um, um, creating this endurance in your mind that you need to find these pockets of time to relax during the training session is important as well. So these are two main focal points um, if you find yourself in this spot where uh, you go one round, two rounds, and then you feel completely um, destroyed and you don't have a physical ability to, um, to continue sparring. Look into David Goggins. He has an interesting approach 
to physical endurance. He says, the moment we think that I can't go anymore, there's still 40% of tank left. Very interesting thought. Um, you know, I'll let you decide if that's a good or bad, if, if that's something that interests you to really, but it's an interesting thought that there is more there is more beyond the point in which our brain tells us, I can't do this anymore. Whether that works for you or not, um, I'll let you decide, but I will leave you with a small challenge here. I will challenge you to go three rounds without any stop, any stop whatsoever, and do that three to four times a week. Do that for a month, and I guarantee you those three rounds will be like nothing. Um, so don't take breaks in between get some water and get right back into it. Um, the breaks are not always a good thing and I do challenge you to find pockets of time within your sessions um, to relax, recharge, and continue going. Peace.